What if I told you the greatest, most dominant athlete in the world wasn't Patrick Mahomes in the NFL or LeBron James in the NBA or even Lionel Messi in soccer, but was actually a baseball player from Japan and a hockey player from the Great White North? When it comes to professional sports in America, the NFL is king. From the draft to the Super Bowl, fantasy lineups to tailgating, the league has a way of keeping fans engaged nearly year round. If you don't believe it, just look at the viewership numbers and annual revenue. The figures speak for themselves. Basketball has also grown into the mainstream American sports scene since the 80s, thanks to great rivalries like Magic vs. Bird, as well as the cultural impact that superstars like MJ and Curry had on the Jets generation of kids. These days, there are plenty of storylines to keep NBA fans interested, whether it's LeBron's legacy, the future of Ja Morant, or Wemby's outlook on the Spurs. On the other hand, while baseball was once regarded as America's pastime, its popularity has steadily declined over the years, and hockey, well, that largely remains Canada's sport, even though the last Canadian team to win the cup was Montreal in 93. However, if you're a fan of true greatness, it's time to watch the LA Angels and the Edmonton Oilers just to see the two most dominant athletes in all of sports right now. Sure, they may not be household names outside of Japan or Canada, but Shohei Otani and Connor McDavid are doing things that haven't been done in decades or in some cases ever before in their respective sports. Let's start by exploring what makes Otani such a unicorn on the diamond. For starters, the 6 foot 4, 210 pound right handed throwing, left handed hitting Japanese superstar is unlike any player we've seen in modern baseball. He's an all star quality pitcher and a all star quality slugger molded into one electric player. On average, his four seam fastball touches 97 miles per hour, topping out in the triple digits. But his most devastating offering is probably his split finger, which has nasty sink to it. Once hitters start sitting on the fastball or split, he can come in with one of his four other quality pitches, keeping them off balance and often hopeless. At the dish, Otani barrels the bat and has some unreal pop. He can hit for average and power, drive in runs, score them, and steal bases. Prior to signing with the Angels as an international free agent in 2017, Otani played for four seasons in the Japan Pacific League where he became well known as a pitching and hitting phenom. However, no one knew if or how well he could do both in the majors. Well, despite being plagued by elbow issues that limited his pitching appearances as a rookie, Otani still managed to showcase that he's the real deal. He made 10 starts in 2018, finishing with a record of 4-2 and two and a 3.31 ERA. He also hit 285 as the Angels DH with 22 homers, 61 ribbies, and 10 stolen bases on his way to winning the AL Rookie of the Year. Unfortunately, he underwent Tommy John surgery that offseason, which ultimately limited his production over the next two years. Thankfully, though, he returned to his former self in 2021, smashing all expectations along the way with a combined war of 9.0. And at the plate, he smashed 46 dingers, drove in 100 runs, and scored 103. He also drew 99 walks, 20 of which were intentional. On the mound, he finished with a record of 9-2 and in 23 starts, pitching a 3.18 ERA. His efforts were good enough to earn him AL MVP honors as well as his first all-star game selection and it was more of the same last season as Otani continued to rake at the dish while also managing to improve on his solid numbers as a pitcher. In 28 starts he totaled 15 wins and 9 losses with a ridiculous 2.33 ERA and 219 strikeouts in 166 innings. Only a 62 homer season from Aaron Judge kept Otani from repeating his AL MVP an award which which he is the favorite to win again in 2023. A good modern comparison for him is a healthy Jacob deGrom and Bryce Harper fused into one. However, because he does it all, both from the rubber and the plate, Otani has routinely drawn comparisons to Babe Ruth, who is considered by many to be the best to ever play the game. The great Bambino slugged and pitched his way to the Hall of Fame from 1914 to 1933, with his most active years on the mound coming in his first five seasons. While well, you can definitely draw parallels between 
between them as two-way stars. Ruth played in a totally different era and the game has changed a ton since then. When you actually look at what Otani brings to the table, the triple digit fastball, the exit velocity and the sprint speed, the comparison begins to fall apart. A perfect example of this unique skill set came at the start of his MVP season against the White Sox when he pitched and hit in the same game for the first time in the majors. He wasted no time making an impact, launching a 451 foot moonshot with an exit velocity of 115 miles per hour in the same inning that he threw a 100.6 mile per hour fastball. It was truly nothing we'd ever seen in pro baseball before. Not to mention Otani has already surpassed Ruth's career strikeout total, having collected more than 501 Ks in just his sixth big league season. Stephen A, Otani is still the best show in sports. He is doing something right now that hasn't been done in over a hundred years. Babe Ruth was the best left-hander in the American League and the home run champ. Otani right now is leading the league in home runs and by the way has the same ERA as Max Scherzer, the 2.1 ERA. Listen to this, he struck out 40 dudes in 25 minutes. This is right now the best show in sports and the thing you don't want to miss. You're going to tell your grandkids about this. With all that being said, if we're looking to the past for a better comparison to Otani, there's a case to be made for Bo Jackson, a two-way star in a different sense. Jackson was the only athlete ever to be an all-star in baseball and a pro bowler in football. Although he doesn't exactly line up with Otani's trajectory, Bo serves as a prime example of someone who did something that we've never seen before at an insanely high level. We've watched Mahomes throw touchdown and Durant hit jumpers much like the greats before them, but there's no precedent for an athlete starting as a full-time pitcher and hitter like Otani. In fact, last season, he became the first player ever with enough innings to qualify for the ERA title and enough plate appearances to qualify for the batting title. Not even Babe Ruth did both on a full-time basis in the same season. Slated to become a free agent after this season, Otani will hit the market in his prime as a 29-year-old expecting to set a record for the richest contract in American sports. Many are predicting a 12-year deal in the range of 500 to 600 million, which would eclipse Mike Trout's extension, the largest deal in MLB history to this date. One can only hope that whichever team is lucky enough to get Otani also has championship aspirations as he has failed to even reach the playoffs in his first five seasons with the Angels. It would be great for the sport to have him playing some meaningful October baseball, just as it is for hockey when the world's best player is vying for a chance for the cup in May. From being granted exceptional play status at the age of 15 years old to being drafted first overall by the Oilers in 2015, Connor McDavid has always known what it's like to deal with lofty expectations. Well, before he even entered the NHL, he was touted as the next Sidney Crosby, who has now won three Stanley Cups and three Hart trophies given to the league's MVP. For the most part, this would be an impossible act to follow, but aside from winning that elusive first cup, McDavid has blown these expectations out of the rink. In fact, it is not out of the ordinary to hear his name mentioned along Wayne Gretzky and Mario Lemieux these days as he regularly dominates the league like no one else has since those two players. In other words, when it comes to pure scoring and playmaking ability, the Canadian superstar is on pace to be the greatest to ever do it. The proof is in the numbers, especially those from this past season. With 64 goals and 89 assists, McDavid captured his third straight and fifth overall Art Ross trophy as the NHL scoring champ, along with his first Rocket Richard trophy as the league leading goal scorer. His career 153 points were 25 more than the next closest player and the most by anyone since Lemieux in 95. The season marked McDavid's eighth in the league, six of which he's registered at least 100 points, essentially putting him in a league of his own. The only other active player with 600 point seasons is Crosby, who finished his 18th year as a pro. Lemieux, who played 17 seasons, broke the century mark 10 times, while Gretzky did it 15 times in 20 years. Overall, McDavid found the score sheet 75 of 82 games, the highest percentage by any player since Gretzky in 1990-1991. He also became the fifth player in NHL history to outright lead the NHL in goals, assists, and points during a single season and the first to achieve the feat since, you guessed it, Gretzky in 86. Needless to say, McDavid accomplished more in 2023 than most players do in their entire career, but it's not just the fact he can score and dish out assists. What really makes McDavid special is the way in which he does it, often on the level of some kind of sorcery whether he goes to end-to-end -end 
out skating and undressing defenders on his way to burying it top shelf or puts a no look cross ice pass on his teammate's stick for an easy tap in. It's truly mesmerizing to watch. For the generations of hockey fans who missed out on Gretzky, McDavid is the next best thing. At 26 years old, he's already compiled 850 points in 569 games, good enough for a career average of 1.49 per game. This ranks first among active players and fourth all time, trailing only the great one, Lemieux and Mike Bossy. Unfortunately, while not for a lack of effort on his part, the Oilers captain has yet to make a cup final, let alone win one. Something he'll have to do to solidify his legacy. With three years left on his deal, it remains to be seen if he'll be able to get it done with Edmonton or ultimately to have to move on and try somewhere else. Either way, it will be must watch hockey wherever and whenever he is on the ice. While the individual stats and achievements for both Otani and McDavid are out of this world, it's going to take some team success in the postseason to launch both athletes into the mainstream. Showcasing their ability on the biggest stage and capturing a championship would cement their place among the all-time greats, while also serving as the boon that baseball and hockey need to reach the levels of football and basketball in America. And who knows, it seems like the first is always the toughest, so when Otani and McDavid finally get one, maybe their sport will have a new dynasty on their hands. Speaking of potential dynasties, the Oklahoma City Thunder have a young roster of stars and a plethora of future draft picks, making them a threat in the West for years to come. For an in-depth look of how they got to this point, you need to watch this video right here.